This is easy, easy. Got them excited to meet me, meet me. I got diamonds, you got CZs, CZs. Wake up, get to it, and repeat, repeat. Can I talk my Come on That other side The Oakley way Hey C5 Can't nobody do me like I do me And I don't care to be nobody else Cause I'm unique I'm fine with me I am We are about 15 or so miles Northwest of world famous Miami Beach As we are set for football At Hard Rock Stadium In Miami Gardens it is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Miami Dolphins. A happy Christmas Eve to all. What a good one we have in store as we are underway here in week 16. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. On play action, here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You look at this Cowboy defense. Now they're currently 21st, Charles, in the NFL against the run. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, Understand what you have to get done. And finally stop some people. Put them on the ground. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. The point after threw the raindrops up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. First down, they go back to A-Chain. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. The Dolphins hit 10 and 4 on the year. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And that is incomplete. 
A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. You look at this Cowboy defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Here's Prescott. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Prescott. That one down the field for Ferguson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Two are going to throw. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Two to Tyreek for the Miami first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Two and now on first down. Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. So here's a third and 14. 
Tua sets up to pass it. Open man is Waddle complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. This is taken at the 18. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And they will take over first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Going to run again here with Pollard. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in there by Cooks. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. A first down throw for Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Big Raekwon Davis, the man fighting in for that sack. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Under pressure, they got him again. Jalen Phillips, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Now an option play on second down. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
a gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Two and now on first down. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 39 yards there, a big one. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Throwing now is Tongue of Iloa. Out route to Hill complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Looking to pass, Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Jason so fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing, it's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Pollard again. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. the punter Brian Ager to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. Now Dak, he wants to change the play. They'll run left with Pollard. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down and a yard. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Now they'll change things around before the snap. On second down, Prescott again. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. Ball delivered complete on the crossing route, Gallup. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Prescott. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And yeah, we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Blankenship's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This will be brought out from the middle of the... And oh, deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Tua. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill! He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So 
So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That play over before it got anywhere thanks to Christian Wilkins. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. H.A. now up the middle. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Right back to H.A. on second down. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. They'll run for it with A-Chain. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. And quickly, they get to the line. A-Chain will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A-chain on first and 10. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. And the Cowboys will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. 
On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 70 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Bradley Chubb there on the tackle. Third quarter action, and we appreciate you spending your Christmas Eve right here with us. Second and ten. Running right, it's Pollard. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Pollard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Now Prescott. He's got Lewis. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. And when I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. On second down, it's Pollard. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. They'll run for it with Pollard, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the seven, it's second and five. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. At 
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he is going to lose yardage here. And now they're in the hurry up. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Play action. Now it's Tua. And going deep for Hill. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. The offense on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and 15. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Being chased out left. And that will be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. A give to Pollard running left. And yeah, he'll be stopped at about the 38 after a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. And the last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Here's Prescott, flush to his right. And that is incomplete. The defense did their job, fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it, because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline, just do us a favor, get us the ball back, give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game, they're not behind. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. 
Right back to A-Chain on second down. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That second down play nets a minus four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Tough spot here. Third down at 11. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And this is going to be intercepted. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. On play action, here's Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? On second down, a run by H.A. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. 103 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Third and 20. From the gun, it's Tua. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 35-yard line. That's caught out wide by Cooks. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And a solid run down inside the 30. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation. This is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Now Prescott going to change the play. Pollard, he'll take it up the gut. They're able to push his way through. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's first and goal. Good job. 
They'll run with Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Pollard is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Now here's Pollard. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They'll come up first and ten here. Tua. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now Tua. A-Chain gets it from the gun. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Here's Tua. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. They'll try again here, second and ten. Throwing to a. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And he will go down. Cowboys sack. 